What? You... Oh, you want me to come over there? You don't want to come over here, you want me to go... Oh. Okay, well, give me a sec. How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Alright, fine, I'm coming. Going way too fast for my brain to handle. Why are we coming down here? It's... Aren't we... I... I don't understand you, V. Hey, it's the guy from two episodes ago. Hi, you little, uh... Wait, what are you? Okay, sorry! Oh, no, 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 bad. Bad kitty. Bad. Bad. Bad rat kitty animal thing. Honestly, I have no idea what to call that. Hey. No! I thought the jelly fell off the edge. Got a jelly blob. That's really descriptive, you know. Okay! Let's do it. Red rupee, I wanted that. Can I go any higher than 200 rupees right now? Actually, I don't think I can. Didn't I just get that red rupee for nothing? I'm not paying attention. I have 200 rupees right now. I'm really paying attention to whether or not I can actually get more than that. I may have just gotten that red rupee for nothing. Hey, keys. We're here. Up, up here. Up here. Get here. Here, keys. Good keys. Good keys. I pet you on the head, but I don't know if you'd bite my hand off if I tried. No. Stupid thing. Uh, it gave me nothing. Urk. Hi. Hey. It gave me nothing. Again. What's with the nothing given? I want something. You gotta give me something, boy. Come on. What, nothing? You're still gonna give me nothing. <sighs> well then. Hey, I want to be able to do that. <laughs> can I just run into the wall? Can I phase through like she just did? Let's try. The wall's still there. I'm not allowed to move. We're looking at the behind of Hylia's statue for some reason. Hey, see, I can do it. I'm intangible. Since when? Since when? I'm not even gonna finish that. Since when? Hmm. Now this scene looks familiar. <laughs> Hi. Hi. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. What is said destiny? 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 I totally said that right. <laughs> According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. V is the name I was given. You may pronounce me as V, Phi, Fo, or Fum. It all works. <laughs> Can I just call you all four? V, Phi, Fo, Fum. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Um. Okay. Come, Link. You must take up this sword as the one chosen by my creator. It is your destiny. I handle like this right now. The 
the strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertainty surrounding the fate one you of one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Shen. Why can't I speak today? Or any day for that matter. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. What are you gonna do? The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. Yep, that's gonna alter state, alright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. That would be smart regardless. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? I hope he is. I'd be shocked if he wasn't. Duh, yep. <laughs> It seems that further persuasive measures will not be requ- What? Persuasive measures? <laughs> you are a spirit. You literally have four different names that match up to a giant saying. I don't know if I want to know these other measures. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. I Oh. I totally wasn't pushing the wrong button or anything. He's just like, oh my gosh. What will we do with you, Link? <laughs> hey. Fum, stop it. <laughs> Introducing Fum. Forget the fee five faux part. We're just gonna call you Fub. <laughs> you got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Cool. What up, Bob? I can't help but chuckle at the fact that I'm calling you that. Recognition complete, Master. Link. By master. Whoa! Oh, back down, Fum. <laughs> That's such a more appealing name than Fee. What were you thinking, Nintendo? <laughs> Link. What? Oh, hi. Um, I've had my suspicions, but until now, I wasn't sure. Yet, here we are in the Chamber of so the Sword. The very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. Yeah, okay, um... It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a young youth guided by... You know, because young youth, it, it works. <laughs> guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It starts days ago, the sword that I have kept secret all these years. It began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things, here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. 
I never dreamed the prophecy of the legend would come to pass in my lifetime. I feel like that statement is said a lot. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeliness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah, uh, yes, the oral tradition. One of the least reliable methods of information. Hey, hold on, your name's not Fom. I, I, I thought that's what we were going for here. I'm gonna call you that anyway. Anyway, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information, retention, and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. <laughs> the youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Hmm. Hi, okay. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the Cephas. The old tales describe the whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Okay. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds, to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through the journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit method maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place. And to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. What are you doing, Fee? Oh. That, right. <laughs> I, d I thought you were going to, like, snipe me or something. Sorry. Fum. Fum, I apologize. I, I used the wrong terminology. Um... Yeah, Fum, please don't snipe me with your, uh, th th what did you just give me? <laughs> this tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it, and place it within the altar behind me. You got the Emerald Tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Hmm. Master... The first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Okay. That's so much easier to do with a controller as well. Literally, right analog stick, just p p stick, push it up and hold it. <laughs> Doing this, because I'm so unbalanced and it's so janky, it was so much harder to do. I have no idea why. Okay, Fum, it's done. What do we do now? Oh, wow. A stone tablet created a big hole in the sky. <laughs> that 
kind of, I mean, yes. Faster, Link. It is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. I know how to summon you. Um. <laughs> Link, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have bigger roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what the city says is true, Zelda is alive, alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you, need, should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link, especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. It'll happen, don't worry, Deborah. <laughs> what we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legends true. Okay. <laughs> it's so much. What? <laughs> you do your people proud, Link. Wow. He's shaking his hand. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link. And those clothes. They don't look up to the task. The uniform you wear, the uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove a much more suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before you go. <laughs> okay. Fum, you coming along? We keep the sword outside the room so Fum can't watch me dress. And eh, never mind. Apparently I didn't do that. Man, Link must be a player of sword. <laughs> what? <laughs> that green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. I mean, it's Link. <laughs> what did you expect? Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. Okay. I'll return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You are always welcome to stop by. If you have questions, you and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Yeah, I <laughs> saw that coming. Alright, first of all, blue ruby. Let's see. There's nothing useful in here. Oh. I thought every time you slept and you woke up, that was to happen. Oh, never mind. <laughs> hey. Leak! What, Fledge? Hi, Fledge. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. Thanks. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I can never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I've got Fum on my back. I think I'm good. Should I introduce you to Fum? Fum, Fum, Fee, 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 what, what are you going to respond to? Get out here. Are you going to answer? Just like pulls the sword. Are you going to answer me? It just starts talking to the sword. Fledge is like, walk away slowly. <laughs> Do not 
nothing to see here. Just walk away. He, he, he won't notice. Too busy talking to his inanimate sword that might be very dangerous to be around us with. Make sure to not go near Link. It might be very un unwanted. Okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. Adventure pack. Pouch. Same difference. <laughs> That's like one sixteenth of what I need. Or one fourth. One fourth? One fourth. I think. I don't remember. It's an adventure pouch. Or it's... It's for... Uh, adventures! <laughs> no, really. It's not because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big adventure. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You can buy some potions and a shield. They'd fit in the pouch. And they might come in handy on an adventure. Think. I just know you'll find Zelda for us. Uh, yeah. Always do. Hi. Hey. Hey! I just saw the news. Out of all of us, how come only you got promoted to senior class? Talk about stupid calls. On top of all that, Grus won't come out of his room and Zelda is missing. It's all your fault. Way to go there, buddy. Some senior class guy you are. Um... How in blazes does that make it my fault, butthole? Yeah. Can I just throw a barrel at you, please? Actually, can I? Can I? Yeah, probably not. Oh, I can't break it. Okay, fine. I'll throw a pot at you. That, that... Ah, I'm too... I'm too close. I... I will throw a pot at him. Aw, oh, come now, game. I just want to attack this... Okay, fine. It'll break. It will break on him. Would you hold still? Ha <laughs> ha. I just throw a pot at you. Kind of. I did what the game allowed me to do. <laughs> Alright, Fum, let's go introduce you to the rest of the town. And if we find anything along the way, we'll just take it. Yeah, because why not? Hi. I heard the news, Link. Zelda's fallen down through the clouds, and you're going to look for her. Is that right? The headmaster told me there's, la there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So? That's the famous sword. Ah. But it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. Thanks! <laughs> Slay wooden shield breaks easily. It can burn, so be careful. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all the shields. Also, keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. To equip a shield, blah blah blah, I know. If you're not sure how to use a shield, Knight Commander Aegis at the- yeah, I know. Here. That's how I use the shield. Boop. That's that's it. <laughs> this is okay. No, you can have more than two hundred rupees. Um. Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of the light it created. The column of light has a appear to the south of our location and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword will result in a decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield. Do you not see my back, Fom? <laughs> Look at my back! Fight my thumb while you're at it. Suck it. Suck it, thumb. Suck my thumb, thumb. 
statement. <laughs> okay. Potions, on the other hand, I don't have. I will go get some, well, no, screw potions. I don't like potions. Anybody who knows my Zelda playing by now has probably noticed that I do fairies specifically. Unless it's not an option in the game. And it is an option in this game. Oh boy! We'll be this. What's this? What is that my eye beholds? Um, Fum, I think he's looking at you. <laughs> oh, young man, what calamitous visions appear before me. Oh, that's Fum. Um, what you're looking at is just Fum. It's, it's the spirit of the sword on my back. No one's supposed to know about that. Stop looking into that ball. He won't stop. Now he's staring at my back. That's just weird, dude. Please stop. <laughs> Please, please. <laughs> you may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous thorny road ahead of you. Not really. If you know what you're doing in this game, in any game, it's not really that bad. I didn't know what I was doing first time I played this, and I did fine. But I can foresee what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Yeah, okay, spare it. Trust my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. Okay. You know what? We'll figure that out later. You have nothing useful for me right now, boy. Hi. Hey, you there? Yes, you. The adorable boy with the golden hair. Uh-huh. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least. <laughs> Lady, I get it. Stop. Please. I'm a bit dis- I, I, I'm a bit concerned. I, I, no, not a bit. I am very concerned. Oh, very has been putting it very, very lightly. Um, could you stop, please? Oops. I did something. <sighs> What's with the sound effect, anyway? Oh, dear! I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Nope. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. For some reason, I like you, though. So I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. How convenient. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things besides potion. I know. Yes, thanks. Empty bottles filling. Fit in your adventure pouch. Plus, blah, but yeah, I know how it works. Gang, come on. I mean, I get why I would do that in case somebody hasn't played a Zelda game before, but geez. If you ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch, then because it's full, you can always draw up items off at an item check. Mm. So what would you like to buy? Uh, I'm sorry, lady. I don't really have interest in buying potions. Don't be mad. So, that being said, moving on. <sighs> da da da. Wait, hold up. Yeah, that's what I thought. I had to. Is there anyone else I can talk to? I don't think so. Not at the current moment, at least. Um. I mean, I got a bottle. I got the first of five bottles. I got a wooden shield. Got a sword. And I 
don't think there's much side stuff we can do right now. Well, we can talk to the kid, I guess. Hi. Hey, look up there. It's Beetle's Air Shop. It's here. He sells bug nets there. I want one so bad. There's a bell hanging down from the shop, and I hear if you ring it, Beetle will stop for you and pick you up. But that bell is up off the ground. You'd have to launch something at it to have any hope of ringing it. Beetle probably intentionally does that. Do you want something, Fum? What do you want? Master, the column of light is visible from here. Yeah, I see it. What do you expect of me? I was gonna go to it. I mean, there's not much else here to do. I could go talk to everyone. Actually, that's probably a good idea. I should probably fill up the map. We will go start there next time, but let me go fill up the map really quick. Dive off a ledge and call your loft wing from here, where you can see the column of light. It is time for you to set out on your search for Zelda. You can call your loft wing with- Yeah, I know how it works. But, I refuse. You still have something to say? First of all, here. I literally just can't buy just to leave. Alright, see ya. <laughs> no one's here anyway. Because I believe after you enter an area, it highlights the building for what it actually is. Right? Yep. Oriole and Paro's house has been highlighted and will now show up on our map. That's so weird, though. One thing I do find strange about the map is, like, until you've been in a building, it doesn't showcase nothing. Hello. No one's here. Okay, bye-bye. <sighs> no one's gonna be here anyway, are they? Okay, so that's the two places on... around here. Oh, there's this place. Whoever home this is, um, whoa, this is tiny. I'm out. Bye bye. Anywho, and obviously there's nothing up there. That's not a home you can go into. That is. I'm trying to fill in the gaps as much as possible. Thumb, what? Stop licking my back. It feels weird. And time to leave. Fum! I will leave you behind in one of these rooms. Do I need to do that? Alright, so that side should be filled up. I don't think I've missed any places there. This building? This is Pippet's house, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is Pippet's house. Sheesh, lady. How do you make a house so messy? I'll be saying that later on too because jeez. This is rich woman's house who's a butthole. Yeah, bye. Not coming back here. I don't need to come back here for anything. Unless for some reason I decide to piss her off for no reason. <laughs> Which, knowing me, that shouldn't be much of a surprise actually. That is closed off. I've already been in here, right? Yes, that's Pivot's house. I don't think I've been in here, though. I have not. That's right, I'm wasting like seven minutes labeling every single house, that way it's easy to find later on. I do have good reason. This is the house of the potion people. There's a side quest for it later on. How am I, why am I naming this out? Anybody who's played the game already, already knows this. Here. We're almost done, though. We'll at least enter the first area of the game. Maybe. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? Uh. 
I've already been there, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. My brain gets so confused. Hello. I believe this is where the person with... I forget his name. The guy who does, like, the... Reading... T t t t fortune teller. I can't speak right now for some reason. I think that covers up the entire map. Yep. Yep. I was right. Okay. I believe that's everywhere. So... That's said and done. We got a little bit of time left over. I think we can at least first enter the first area because I don't think there's much else we can do right now. Oh boy. Yeah, like I love how the only thing you can do when you start up the game is get a shield, get a sword, and get a bottle. That's the only mercy the game gives you. A, a game that gives you much mercy anyway, but you, you know. Fum, what are you doing? I'm just literally running and I feel like what liquid popping on the back of my neck. Like, what is that? I think Fum is like licking me, licking my neck or something. Fum, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm just bored and waiting for you to do your mission. Ugh, Fum, we're going now. Calm your, calm your behind, will you? Do, 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 do. This is how I like diving into the abyss. Head first! Ah! Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Fun, behave yourself. We're about to go into the world down below. We need you to behave and be professional. Got it? Where'd Fum go? Fum isn't on my back anymore. Ah, oh, jeez. Ow! Fum, get off of me! I thought you were a spirit. You stupid piece of crap. You landed on my back. Master, please make sure to use your sailcloth when descending from... Oops. I was so busy choking. <laughs> Failing to do so has a high probability of resulting in injury. I took the liberty of deploying the sailcloth for you this time. But in the future, you can manually engage it by pressing... Yeah, I know. Look, I was so busy making fun of you... I mean, not. You landed on my back. How in the heck am I supposed to do that when you're la you're just, like, pressing down on my back? By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Oh, boy. Yes, I do not like this place. I don't mind it, but compared to everywhere else, I don't like it. Let's just say... The battles here, and everybody who's played this game does agree with me for the most part, from what I've heard. The battles here suck. Compared to the rest of the fights, at least. Please proceed with caution, Master. Okay. Hi. Ah, Dude! No! Bat. Uh. No. Like, why are you hitting him? That's the jankiness of this game right there. That. Uh, there's a bird statue here. I'm used to the idea of using them. Not, ow! Hey, bad. What? Master, I have inf if you're going to tell me about my hearts, I'm going to ignore you. I have the ability to offer information on... Yes, I know. I, I, I know. I choose to not do it because I kind of already know about this stuff, but... Ha! Try to eat me. Try to eat my face off. Wait, what? Um... Me not likey. 
Me not liking, me not re- Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna go home now. Fum, you you t you take care of this. I'm I'm. Uh... Hi. Ow. That looks like it hurt. Something smacked against him. I don't know what. Oh. Nothing. Of course, it was just a dream. Nothing happened. I am halluc- Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing going on. A sword in the ground, but outside of that... Okay! Well, moving on. I, I, I would like some hearts, please. Thank you. And, uh... What? Master, I have information to report. Is it something I don't care about? All these doors to appear have been opened recently. They are now sealed shut by a powerful unidentified force. Uh... Huh? Uh, you want me to Ugh, fine young one child of destiny descended from the sky yes raise the sword of the goddess skyward take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power why would I do that You know, unleash the power of evil. There, you butthole. Why did my brain think that was a good idea, though? Eh, makes that part easier. Alright, fine. There, I did it. Can I go home now? What? Master Link, I am sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your cell clock. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like me to explain? No. Understood, Master. Thank you. Now, bye bye. Yes, I know. I'm sorry if I sound agitated, but I don't like being reminded of things I already know about. Whoa. Well, that was a high lift off. Can I get, like, a save point or something, please? Actually, that was perfect. Can I come in now? Please. I'd be very grateful if I could. Thank you. Another door unlocked through simple means. That bird statue is accessible. Why wasn't the one out there accessible? That's weird. Um, I'm not gonna be able to talk to you for any reason, am I? Yes, I am. Okay. I shouldn't have done that, but you know what? My curiosity got the better of me. Hi. Uh, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, ch child of fate. I can't speak for some reason. Hi. Tell me, what is your name? Link? Ah, Link. Good. Very good. Are you okay? I sense you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword with pointed skyward. The skyward strike. Is your command. Is yours to command. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat here for many years, waiting for you to arrive. Also, that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess, an eternity ago. Jeez. 
Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you do. Before you did. Descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubt it. There's no doubt it. I'm, you're making me start. I'm starting to sound like fun now. There's no doubting it. The gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet, all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not me meant to reach this land in the manner she did. Feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Think. You are concerned for the spirit maiden that and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable. But for now, you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose. She must pursue, as do you. She set out for far woods to discover the destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. Okay. The X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to farm woods. You will be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not provide, may not prove guidance enough for your journey. Yeah, fair enough. And so, I will give you the power to create beacons. You mean that thing? When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at the location. It will act at your, as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X, and yeah, I know. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing A. Use your beacon well, and you will never fear getting lost. Old one, the only one I use the beacons for are the goddess chests, which we will get to soon enough. Go now. You must head on into far woods and chase out to the spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, the contents of the treasure chest within this room, what you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. Wait, what chest? Well, you unlock that door. You are ready. Lead through the door before you, and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Ah. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. Okay. Are you done? Can I just gather the chest and leave the video here? Please. Did I just get a second potion for that? Yeah, I just got a second bottle. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna sit here and just wait. No, don't talk to me. I do hope you are able to catch up with Zelda. I will. Next time. But right now, I'm gonna leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really... Fuck! No! I'm not letting you say goodbye. If you really like this video before she starts interrupting again, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have a suggestion for a Zelda game that you'd like to bypass with our list of train our destinations that we're going to do, let me know in the comments below. Or wanna check out a stop we've already been by? Click the link across right here and try to take you to that location. Or wanna check out any of the stops on this right so far? Link in the top right corner to try to take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye.